Okay, I'm continuing my final exam work through problems. Uh, and so in this case, this is for the algebra-based physics course. And we're on problem number five. Uh, I want you to know there are six problems, and I had my students pick four of them to do because they only had like an hour and a half. Okay. A spacecraft orbits a moon, a small moon, not a space station, uh, that has a mass of 2 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms and a radius of 4 times 10 to the 5th meters. So let's just draw a little moon here. R, M, I'll leave it like that. Uh, and where R equals, I'm not, I don't have to put that in. Uh, the spacecraft orbits at a radial distance of, uh, so let's call this R, M, and then here's my orbit, and this will be just lowercase r. How long does it take to complete one orbit? Okay, so in this case, I have one force acting on the spacecraft, and that's the gravitational force. So I can say F net X equals uh, the gravitational force, which is G, mass of the moon, mass of the satellite over R squared, and that's going to equal mass of the satellite times acceleration. Now, I could do V squared over R, but if I solve for the angular velocity, it's going to be easier to find the time to complete one step. So I'll use this omega squared R. Uh, so these R's are the important one. That R actually doesn't even matter, okay? It doesn't matter unless I said, yeah, from the center of the moon. So this doesn't even matter. Okay, now I want to solve for omega. I get, oh, look, mass is cancel. So I get omega squared equals g mass of the moon over r cubed. So omega equals g mass of the moon r cubed square root. So let's get, uh, and then let's, let's not even put the number in. Because now I can say omega is delta theta over delta t. Right? That's the definition of angular velocity. And so if it goes all the way around, how far is that? That's delta theta equals 2 pi. So what would delta t be? Delta t would be the time it takes to make one orbit, and it would be 2 pi over omega. So that's going to be 2 pi times the square root of r cubed, this one. Five, I'm going to put it over here. Delta t equals 2 pi times the square root of r, 5.5 times 10 to the fifth, cubed, that's all in there, uh, divided by g, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th, times the mass of the moon, 2 times 10 to the 22nd. Okay, here's where you are going to make an error putting in scientific notation raised to exponents. So if you have to be careful here. I'm going to be careful. Okay, so I'm going to start with this 2 times pi. 2, enter, and then pi. I need to turn that into a number times. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. 5.5 times 10 to the fifth, enter. Now I'm going to cube that. So I have a x to the button, I guess it would be hat, no, messed up, how do you do raise to the, that's x squared, I'm having trouble seeing, let's just try this, that button should be it, okay, let's see, 2 raised to the third is 8, so 2, enter, three, that's what I need to do, then raise to the, yeah, okay, got it. So two pi, two, enter, pi times, no, pi number times. Now I need to do this, 5.5 times 10 to the fifth. Make sure you know how to use your scientific notation on your calculator. Can you see this? Okay. Enter, oops, what did I do? I'm, I'm not doing well here. Okay, 2, enter, pi times. And I was all bragging like I'm so cool. Oh, that's, okay, I was reading that wrong. Okay, 5.5 times 10 to the fifth, enter. Now I'm going to raise that to the third power, so I'm going to say 3 to the third. Got it. Okay, now I need to divide by this. 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 11th, 
change sign divided by. Now I need to divide by this. 2 times 10 to the 22. Now I need to take the, cube, the square root of that. Now I need to multiply. And I get 2,030 seconds. The end.